Hi guys, today it's time for yet another episode in my alphabet series and for today's letter we are doing the letter G. I feel like I've come a long way with this, like I feel like I just started it but I'm still already at G so... This is gonna go by pretty quickly, I think. Let me know when you think I'm going to be done with this series. I feel like next year is going to be spread out a little bit further just because I do plan on having more single shadow content on my channel and not just like this series. So I feel like they're going to be like every two to three weeks instead of what I've been doing lately. But I actually have a lot of things today that start with the letter G. So I actually have a blush bronzer and a highlighter. So I think we should start with that. So I am going to use my Too Faced Gingerbread tan bronzer because I have this and I'd like to get some use out of it. And the people who say that this smells like gingerbread are lying because it definitely does not. It has like a sweet smell but it does not smell like gingerbread. I don't care what people say but I think they're wrong. So I'm going to take my refer number 18 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of bronzer. I don't want too much of this. I do find this to be a little bit too warm tone for my liking especially in the winter because I am pretty fair and I tend to be a little bit like more warmer skinned in the, in the summer so this is more of like a summer bronzer for me I feel like so I'm not gonna go like super heavy on the bronzer here and then like I was saying I also do have a blush and a highlighter for once so that was exciting it was funny because when I was going through my lipsticks because I'm actually like prepared today I was like shit I only have two lipsticks I had a gray and I had something else and then I went through like literally every single place in the house that I thought I could have lipsticks and I ended up finding some other ones thank god because I I really did not want to use any of the ones that I originally had so I think we are safe I think I'll be able to get like a fairly good look out of this so for my bronzer I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan bronzer I did get this from Oxalate this is in the shade Grapevine and this is what the bronzer looks like so how I usually do it is I literally just like use the whole thing and then I just put it on my face <laughs> like sometimes I'll go in with like you know like the lighter ones if I don't want too much blush but I find that just mixing all of them together just makes for like the perfect blush color so that's just kind of what I've been doing with this and I just think that the formula on this is so good it's so buildable and it's just oh the formula is just it's so natural looking and I've just absolutely been loving this Definitely gonna put some on my nose as well because I just think that that is so cute. I know some people don't like the blush on the nose, but I'm so here for that. So for my highlighter today, I'm going to use my highlighting palette by Lime Crime because I love this. This is one of my favorite things in my collection. This is the Opals palette. And the shade in the middle here is actually called Gold. So that is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. I'm gonna use my refer number 16 brush. It is so nice to be able to finally say like the color or, or the name of the brush that I'm using because for such a long time, they still had like the prototype names on them. And then they finally sent me a set when they launched that has like the real names on them. So now I know what I'm using and I can tell you guys because these are like actually up for sale now if you didn't already know that. I will link the video where I talked a little bit more about the refer brushes if you missed that video and you were like interested in maybe getting some. I don't know how many they're going to have left still when I'm putting this video up, but I will have that video linked in the corner as well as in my description box if you did want to go check that out. And I'm pretty sure that the brush I'm using right now is an eyeshadow brush originally. I just, I prefer to use this for my highlighter because it's like the perfect size for me. Like I said, this is the 16 brush and I think this is like the biggest eyeshadow brush that I have. Like if you see like this compared to my eye, like I could never use this like in my crease. Like it would just be way too big for what I normally like to do. So let's get into the eyeshadows. Do you guys want to see them? Do you want to see what we have to work with? I'm so excited about this color story. Like look at this. We have a fun color story today. I don't know if I'm going to be using any of these. I'll probably use one of them like in my inner corner, but that's going to be it. I'm mostly going to focus on these shadows right here. And I feel like that is a beautiful color story. And I am glad that I have all of these because they are going to make for a really good inner corner highlight. I feel like I have something like itchy me right here. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my Natasha Denone eyeshadow base. And then we are going to put some shadows on my eyes. Currently when I'm filming this video, it is the 17th of December and we leave for Norway on the 19th. I know I might even be back by the time this video goes up. I don't remember the exact date that this is going up, but this is like my second to last filming session before leaving and I'm kind of relieved in a way because I've just been, I don't know, filming so much in the past two weeks that I'm ready for a bit of a break 
and it'll be nice to go home and see some family and stuff. It's like, yeah, I'll be editing my videos and stuff while I'm there, but I mean, whatever, it doesn't take that long. But it's just nice to know that all of like the filming work for all of December is gonna be done soon because I feel like I've been stressing out so much this whole month because there's just been like so many things to plan for. I just like slap my hand over my brushes. Okay, let's just go ahead and put some eyeshadows on instead because at least that I know how to do like somewhat anyway. <laughs> So I actually think I wanna use all of these shades in my look today, like not all of them obviously, but like all of the mattes because I feel like this little quad here is looking really, really nice. So I'm gonna think about what to do for a little bit and then I'll let you know if I have a plan or not. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the yellow. This is from Sydney Grace, it's called Gis Alaying. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna go ahead and like tuck that into the first portion of my, not even crease, but just like in the inner portion of my eye here. And I'm also going to kind of blend it into my eyebrow up here. I know this always looks crazy in the beginning, but I feel like as the look goes on, like it kind of comes together in the end. And I really like how that looks. And it also makes a little bit of like a <laughs> nose contour up here. Not that I really ever nose contour, but I've just noticed that when I look at other people and they've done this technique or this placement, it almost looks like they're contouring their nose with whatever color they are using because it like goes down where your brow begins and kind of connects to like the bridge of your nose in a way. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darkest of the green shades here. This one is Gumby from Colored Rain. I don't think I've actually used this shade before. I made an order from them on Black Friday for just like a couple of singles because I felt like I had some gaps in my collection. And this was one of the colors that I felt like I didn't really have in a single already. So excited to try this out. So I'm gonna put that in the first half of my actual crease here. And then on the outer part, I think I'm going to use that kind of burgundy shade. So I'm gonna take this about halfway across or so, and I'll just make sure I blend this into the yellow. And I definitely could have used the other like lighter green as well, but I felt like if I put this down, this would kind of make a bit of a lighter green where it mixes with the yellow anyway. So no need to use more shadows than I have to to create a look with. And this green is really, really, really nice. I really like how that is performing here. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush and then just blend a little bit extra here where the two colors meet. So I feel like maybe I've lost the yellow a little bit, but it's fine. I'm gonna go back in with a bit more after I'm done with like everything else here. So I'm next gonna go into this shadow right here, which is from Colourpop actually. This one is called Going Steady. And I'm just going to use my same brush. This is the Refer number 13 brush, which is my absolute favorite. And I'm going to be placing that in the outer portion of my crease here and just gently blend it into the green. I don't wanna overblend these two colors because they are going to make a little bit of a neutral in the middle here. So I don't want to really overlap them too much. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and wing this look out a bit as well. And then take this color down to my lower lash line. At least on the outer portion. And then I'll decide what I want to do in the inner portion. Maybe I'll use like the lighter of the greens. Maybe that could be kind of fun. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of basically every single color here. So I'm first gonna start off with the yellow, I think, and just make sure I really bring this back here because I do want this to really pop. And this is actually a really, really good yellow. I feel like maybe this is a yellow I haven't tried before because I did get some shadows from, what was this from, Sydney Grays? I did buy their mystery bag like back in the, sum in the summer at some point. I don't remember exactly when it was. And I was gonna make a video with that, but then I somehow managed to delete the footage because I did film it and that never got uploaded. So yeah, I've never tried this shadow, I don't think, but I really, really like it. I really like Sydney Grace's mattes. They have one of my favorite matte formula in a single, and I think that that looks really nice. So I'm gonna go into the green next. Just bring back this color a bit as well and make sure that the blends everywhere are looking good. And then I don't know what I wanna do on my lid today. I'm thinking maybe I want to do a half cut crease, possibly, but I could also- Oh shit, I literally just put green on top of the purple. What am I doing? Like, why did I do that? That was not very smart. 
Uh, uh, let me try to cover that up again with a little bit more of a purple. Actually, you know what I could do? I could use that green to like deepen up the purple with. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's just try that. It might end up getting a little bit muddy, but I feel like these are just going to end up turning into like a darker color, if that makes sense. Let's just, let's just try it and see what happens. Why don't we? Well, that could end up being a happy accident actually, because I'm not hating this at all. Like at this, I think this actually looks kind of cool. So I'm just taking my time here to work on all the blends, but I really feel like using that green on top of the purpley shade turned out to be a really, really good idea here. So I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, do I want to use that lighter green on my lower lash line? I'm tempted to, but I'm also tempted to actually bring in a shimmer on my lower lash line because I just have so many beautiful shimmers in here that I feel like would look really, really good. I just need to figure out what I want to do on my lid. First, I'm thinking maybe I want to use that blue shimmer on the lower lash line here. So let's see, what do we have here that I can use on my lid? I do feel like I should use that blue though, but I also am tempted to use that multi-chrome, but I just don't feel like the multi-chrome is going to look nice, like layered next to something else. I prefer to just use those like on their own and not fuss with it too much because I just feel like if you put two different multi-chromes or a multi-chrome and a different shimmer next to each other, like they kind of start competing with each other and I just don't want that. So I guess I'll just take this blue because I just don't have much of a choice, honestly, with these colors. So I think this is from Menagerie, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one is called... This one is called... This one is called Glacier, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on like most of my lid. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room in my inner portion for that yellow, I think. Like it would be so funny if I could make like a compilation footage of like every single time that I drop something in my videos because it's not even funny like how often that happens. Like it's almost sad at this point because I feel like I drop something at least once in every single video. <laughs> So like I was saying, I'm just going to basically place this on most of my lid here. And I'm going to start fading that into the outer corners that we have going on here. Like, there's very few colors that I like more in a shimmery form than a blue. I'm just such a sucker for a blue shimmer. I just can't help it. So this is a very unique color combination. I don't think that I've ever like put these colors next to each other before, but I really like how this is turning out. So far, I think that G has been the nicest color to me, honestly, when it comes to like color story and what I have in my collection, at least. I feel like everything in here just goes so well together and it makes it really, really easy to create a look with. And then for the rest of my lid, I'm going to use the yellow shimmer here. This one is from Give Me Glow and it's called Going Bananas. <laughs> That's a great name for an eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna put that on the rest of my lid here and just blend that into the blue. And this is definitely going to create a bit of a green and I think that's going to look really, really pretty here. So I feel like I lost that green just like a little bit right in there. So I'm actually going to go into the other green that I have. This one is Green Apple by Luxy because I just want to make sure that it's green and it's not looking blue at all. And I'm just going to tuck that right in between the green and the yellow here. Just make it a little bit more green. Don't feel like that really made a difference at all, but it did at least intensify that color a little bit here. So I really like this look. Now the question is, what do I do on the rest of my lower lash line? I'm tempted to just not mess with it that much, but at the same time, I kind of do because I just can't help myself. Uh, what do I want to do? I have so many options here and everything is just so pretty. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit more of that shadow that I just used. This one was called Green Apple. And I'm going to take my Morphe M149 brush here and just pack that on the first half of my lower lash line and just kind of made it up with that purple and then I'll see if I can find one of these uh, light shades that I can pop in my inner corner. So 
Okay, so let's see what these uh, light shades look like. So the middle one would definitely be the one that's going to be the winner, I feel like, because this one has a bit of like a greeny, bluey tint. I don't really feel like any of these really go in my inner corner though, which is kind of a shame because I really, really wanted to use one of them. But now I'm doubting myself because I feel like there's so much going on in the look that I don't really want to have like a blue inner corner highlight. So I think I'm honestly just going to use my highlighter that I used on my face because this one is like a yellow based highlighter. So I just feel like this is going to go the best with the look. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this in here, which wasn't really the plan at all, but I feel like this still counts because I mean, it does still start with G. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a little bit of that like right in here. And by a little bit, I'm pretty sure I meant a lot. <laughs> And then let's see, what do we have for my waterline? I actually pulled out everything today before starting. I'm so proud of myself because usually I always like have one or two things that I just haven't really looked through and I just do it last minute. But today I didn't do that because I'm prepared. So I have four eyeliners here. I have one that I definitely don't want to use. This is Get Paid by ColourPop. It's like a bronze eyeliner. I definitely don't want to use that. Um, I think what I'm going to go for is this one from LA Girl. This is in the shade Gotcha. I feel like that's going to go very nicely with the look. I could also use this one from Urban Decay. This one is in the shade Goddess. It's a dark blue. I feel like that could actually look kind of nice with the look as well. And I also have a kind of olivey green, which I don't really feel like I want to use. So it's definitely between the green and the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off with my eyes. I'm going to pop one of these in my waterline. Going to think about it for a little bit. I'm not really sure which one I want to use. So I will be right back. So this is the eye look all done and I think this turned out so pretty. I'm honestly so happy with this look. So as you can see, I used the green one, which was called Gotcha from LA Girl. I love this eyeliner. It's sometimes a little bit hard to get into my waterline, but as long as my eyes aren't like teary beforehand, it's usually fine. Uh, for lips, I have four choices, two of which I know I'm not going to use. Um, my first choice here is Gumdrop by MAC. This is one of their Oh Sweetie glosses. I do think that this could look kind of pretty, but I just feel like... I don't know, I'm just not in the mood for something like this today. I also have Gargoyle by <laughs> Jeffree Star, which is a gray. So I'm gonna pass on that one too, I'm afraid. And then for my two choices that I actually have. Now, funny story how I found these because I was in LA like a week ago when I'm filming this and I ended up going to an influencer event. I'm talking a little bit more about that in some other videos. Um, but basically in that goodie bag, there were some free lip products and both of these are from that bag. So thankfully I had some choices in that bag that I mean literally saved my day here because I really didn't want to have to wear like a gray today. So the one that I have here is from Joa. This is in the shade Glamping. Now I have tried one lipstick from Joa before but I didn't really like it. I think it was just the color. I'm not really sure but I just wasn't vibing with that one. So I think I'm gonna maybe try this one or I could also go with this gloss. This is from Doll 10. I swatched this in my uh, unbagging of the event bag. I don't think that video has gone up yet, but if it has, I will have it linked up in the corner. And I was so impressed by like what this formula seemed to be like. I've yet to put this on my lips, but I think this is the one I'm going to use. Did I say what shade this was? It's in the shade Girl Next Door. I feel like I said that twice now, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. So from my like swatch, it seemed to be just like a very opaque gloss, but not like super thick or super sticky. So let's put this on and see what this looks like. I mean, the color of that is really nice. So I think I take back about what I said about it not being sticky because it's definitely a little bit stickier. But I don't think that it is sticky in like an uncomfortable way. And I think that with a lip liner, I'm going to absolutely love this because I love how that looks on the lips and I love the color of this. I feel like it goes really nicely with this eye look. And I'm really feeling myself in this look because this is so pretty and I love this. And I think this is my favorite look that I've done from any letter so far. So I would call today a success. So that's gonna be it for today's Anatmos episode. If you wanna see some other December content that I've done, here's a couple more for you. And if you're new to my my channel. I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!